In this question, we are given that m identical balls are to be placed in n distinct bags and we are given that m is greater than or equals to k into n where k is a natural number greater than or equals to 1. Now we want to find in how many ways can the balls be placed in the bags if each bag must contain at least k balls. Now because each bag must contain at least k balls we put k balls in each of the bag and there is only one way of doing this because all the balls are identical and now we are left with m minus k n balls and because m is greater than or equals to k n m minus k n will be a non-negative number and now we want to find the number of ways of placing these m minus k n identical balls in n bags such that the bags may contain any number of these m minus k n balls and to do that we think of this problem as a permutation problem for m minus k n balls and n minus 1 partition walls and these n minus 1 partition walls divide our space in n partitions or n bags for example if we have one partition wall then there will be two partitions of the space or if there are two partition walls then there will be three partitions of our space so when there are n minus 1 partition walls there will be n partitions of our space and for each permutation of these m minus k n balls and n minus 1 partition walls the number of balls lying in kth partition will go to kth bag so that will give us the number of ways of putting m balls in n bags such that each bag has at least k balls now the number of permutations of m minus k n objects of a type and n minus 1 objects of another type is m minus k n plus n minus 1 this is the total number of objects factorial divided by m minus k n factorial because m minus k n objects are of a type and into n minus 1 factorial because n minus 1 objects are of a type and this can also be written as m minus k n plus n minus 1 c n minus 1 so our option b is correct